Hi, I'm going to show how I set up application registration for Azure Authenticator. So right now I'm logged into my personal account and I am the tenant and the global administrator of this Azure account. So for example, if I go to the users page, you can see like this is my account and my directory role is a global administrator. And it cannot be changed because I'm the uh, sort of the owner of this account. Uh, now I go to the application registration. So new application registration. Say I use the name G1 HTTP G1. So the application is created. Now go to settings, go to required permissions, add, select Microsoft Graph. Now I need two permissions, one for to reading directory data. So the read directory data is needed for application permissions and also for delegation permissions. So I have to just scroll down and find that. And then under the uh, delegation permission, I also need to select that sign in and read user profile. So now it says select. So I've selected one role, one application role and two scopes for the delegation role. So done. And then now make sure you press this grant permissions button. This will mean the delegated permissions will be uh, consented by the, the consent, the, the consent needed by the, the Active Directory admin will be provided via this button. So I say yes, grant permissions. And then I can confirm this permission has been give, consented because if I go to this uh, G1, this thing, the manage application in local directory G1. And then on the bottom in the middle, you see permissions. And there you can see that I have given admin consent for all this uh, for read directory application, read <coughs> directory data, read directory data for delegated uh, permissions and sign in and read user profile. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show that this can actually list uh, like groups for any user in this active directory. So I will go back to the settings uh, and then from keys, I'm just going to create a test key. So it's okay, and the, give it a name, give it some duration, let's say one year, I'm just going to for testing. So I copy this key. Now, so I have created, uh, so this is the tenant ID I have, and this is the client secret, I just copied, and then also copy this application ID, and change it here. Now, I have created a test program to test this uh, logic. So it's actually online, uh, available on my personal GitHub account. So if you go to this, as a group lister. So it, this is effectively the same uh, group lister code. Uh, I just copied here and added the main function. So it's kind of easy to test it isolation. So this will read from the environment, this three variables, tenant ID, uh, client ID, and the client secret. So let's just go there. So I'm already on the correct folder. I just want to switch to the bash uh, shell so that I think we're okay. Still have my, yeah, so now go copy them, export them. And then if I run go run star.go, So you can see that the groups is ENG. 
So this is the group that is used by the email account, the user account, Nahid. I don't think you talked to him earlier, but so he's, uh, uh, he's a part of this group. Okay, so so far this is working. So the key thing to notice is that I was the admin uh, of this account of the Active Directory and I was able to set up the uh, application properly. Now, uh, the second step is actually create a second uh, application registration for uh, the for the native application. So we can say G1 native and then we do native. And the I guess we can just set up anything. Okay. And then settings, we go to permissions, and then add, select an API, and then there we say G1, select, access G1, select, done. So the permissions is given, and then we can just grant the permissions if there's anything needed. So if we go to the G1 native, we look at the permissions. So it has all the grant permissions. So okay here. So now you can uh, use this account to set up your local cube uh, CTL, the cube control, uh, in the local cube config file, and it should be able to access the group information on the remote machine. Now, uh, on the Kubernetes server. Now I'm going to show you the other use case, other scenario where the user who is trying to create the application is not an admin. So here, I have a separate user uh, in the same Active Directory, but the role I assigned him, uh, when you can start with like a basic user, you'll see that you will not be able to give any permission. So the account sorter has, uh, is a regular user. Now uh, I am already logged in another browser into this account. Uh, so this is the, the sorter account you can see. So now I create application registration and you'll be able to see like all apps here. So you can see the G1 and the G1 native that we created here. So now let's create a new one. So it is the S1. S1, so I created the so kit. And then now I have this uh, S1 application. Now if I go to settings, permissions, and add, select, Microsoft Graph, select. And then, read directory data. And let's find the second one. So the directory data, this is the delegated one. And then there is the sign in and read user profile. So select, now try to say done. Now, the issue is if I try to do grant permissions, it will not work because obviously this is a regular user and this user doesn't have uh, the necessary permission to grant consent so the application can access that um, get members, uh, member groups API. And if I go to the uh, permissions from, so you go to this S1, I go to permissions and you will see that this is actually cannot even access this part. So now if I go to S1, uh, so obviously this is a problem. So that's why this, the user who is creating this uh, first wave application has to have some sort of admin permission. Now I'm going to show you that even the limited admin permission is not enough. 
So now I change sorter from like an user to a limited administrator. And I tried with this user administrator and also the privileged role administrator and then try to save it. So now from this my admin account, I go back to the sorter account and, and then maybe I can just do a refresh just in case. Sometimes these API calls are a little bit slow to apply, I have seen. So settings, required permissions. So the permissions are already there. I just need to grant them and try to see grant, that grant fails. So it seems that even with a limited administrator role, I cannot uh, grant these permissions. Now, if I give it a global administrator and save it, so now Sorter is a global administrator. I go back here and try to give it the grant the permission. Uh, I guess it is failing, but let's wait a few seconds. It should be okay, actually. So settings, require permissions, and yes. Yeah, you can see that now it's successfully applied, successfully granted these permissions. I mean, consent and cons provide this consent to that, those are required permissions. And if I go back to S1, permissions, and actually refresh this. Interesting. Uh, It seems the permissions are not there. Let's go back. Sometimes it is slow. Settings, required permissions. Yeah, all the permissions are here. So if I grant again, yes. Grant done. Select S1 permissions. Hmm, uh, I'm not sure why it's not working right now. I can create another app registration and it should work actually. So let's just try another one. So S2, S2. Settings, permissions, add Microsoft Graph. Left create directory data. So this is the first one, and then the second one. And sign in and read user profile. Select done. So those are there, and then now grant. Okay, and if I go to S2, permissions, just go back and check S1 again. Not sure why it is uh, not showing up. Like in the in the other application that I was created when I was already an admin, like the G one that I created. Uh, if I go to this G one and permissions, it's all there. 
let's just check it from this account. So if I go to S1, uh, S1 and permissions, it only shows this permissions. So if I go to S1, settings, required permissions and grant them, let's see what happens. On. Yeah, so now it's showing uh, with the delegated permissions. And if we check S2 again, settings, S2 permissions. So it only has the application consent. It doesn't have the consent for the delegation part. So yeah, that's uh, my quick uh, demo uh, that uh, you actually need the global administrator to be able to consent to the Active Directory, the Graph API uh, permissions. And uh, once that's done, the, the code, uh, you know, you can, uh, you can uh, read the groups for uh, any user in that Active Directory. Yeah, so if you find uh, something else, let me know. Thank you.